Welcome back food lovers to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Um, in this episode I am making a request from one of our viewers for me to make lollipopo um, or coconut lollies. This is one of Samoan's favorite um, lollies. So I'm excited to show you how I make it or how I uh, learned to make this when I grew up in the islands. Let's start cooking. These are the ingredients for our dish. A fresh coconut or shredded coconut. Brown sugar and lemon. So these are the coconuts I have shredded before. I've shown you many times uh, with my other videos uh, the way I grate the coconuts um, or, or scrape the coconuts. So I did this earlier on. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to try and squeeze out the milk from these um, from the grated coconuts. Try my best. Um, the reason why I have to squeeze out the milk so it doesn't so the lolly can harden a little bit. I will show you when we get to that step. So I've got this um, material here, a clean material. This is what I'll use to squeeze out the milk. Okay, here we go. You see that milk is coming out. Okay, and then I will put the dry ones in another bowl, just like that. That or that milk that comes out of the <laughs> coconut. Okay. Okay. I will leave that milk aside and use it for um, another recipe or dish. And we're going to use the dry coconuts here. Excuse the mess, everyone. I'll wash my hands and then I'll continue on with our recipe. Okay, so that is it. I've tried to squeeze out as much um, juice or milk out of the, the bengu or the grated coconuts. So this is what we're going to use to make our lollies. Going to add our sugar in the frying pan. Okay, I'm going to um, tell you um, something about these lollies and the reason why I squeezed out the milk. If you don't squeeze out the milk from the fresh coconut, it will become, the lolly will become watery or um, soft. Um, so it all depends on you. If you want a soft lolly, um, coconut lolly or lollipopo, then you can leave the milk in there and it won't be as hard. Back in the days when I grew up and I saw my parents or my mum made the lollipopo, well, coconut lolly, it was quite hard and I'm sure some of our Polynesian friends here would uh, would know what I'm talking about. It's quite um, hard. So that was our candy back in the days. Um, 
So it's quite hard and that's why I'm squeezing out the milk so the lolly can become hard. Otherwise, if you want a soft lo uh, lollipopo or lollipop, then leave the milk in there. But I will show you as we get to the, to the next stage. So when you use the dry ones from the shop, of course it will become harder because there's no milk in here. And it also depends on how much sugar you use. So that's a little bit about um, Samoan Lollipopo. So what I'm doing here, I am caramelizing the sugar, making sure that it doesn't burn. I just want the sugar to melt. And then we'll go ahead and add the coconut. Comment below if you um, grew up eating a lot of popo or give me some of your um, tips or how your parents or how you make lollipopo. Um, this is how I grew up learning to make lollipopo. So I think it's similar. Everyone's got the same way or recipe. But yeah, I'd love to hear from you and get some of your ideas. But I am making this um, as a request from one of my wonderful subscribers, Indian Gamer. He suggested or he requested for me to, to make this. Okay, so I just want the sugar to fully melt now. Um, that's brown enough. I don't want to burn my sugar. I just want those little lumps there to fully disappear or fully melt. And then we'll add our coconut. Okay, that is it. Let's go ahead and add our coconut. Okay. This part here I'm going to taste. I want to taste and see how sweet um, it is, the coconut. If it gets too sweet, then I will add the lemon to bring down the sweetness. Okay, keep stirring your coconut so it doesn't burn. And I will have a little squeeze of the lemon. Taste it one more time. Mm. It's perfect for me. So the lemon brings down that sweetness from the sugar. Some people can handle the sweetness. I can't. Um, I'm not into sweet. Um, I'm not a fan of sugary desserts that matter. So I have to add some lemon to, to balance out the sweetness. All right, it's getting harder now, if you can see. The coconut feels harder in the frying pan. So we are going to turn off our oven and we'll cool this down and then we can roll it into balls. All right, families and friends, 
our coconuts have been cooled down this is the best time for me to quickly roll them before they get hard so it's a little bit hot take it easy um, use some cold water uh, dip your hands in cold water and then gently pick up a few or about that much on a spoon depending on how big your lollipops you want to be so and then you just go with your hands and roll them just like that make sure you wash your hands everyone so there it is one ball put it on a plate dip your hands in cold water and continue on okay you must do this step while it's still warm and the coconut is still soft to roll them in balls so that's a Samoan candy or lollipopo made um, from sugar and fresh coconut Unfortunately, we're living overseas and not all of us can access the fresh coconuts. So you're most welcome to use the ones from the dry ones from the shop. That's okay too. And if it gets too dry, you can add a little bit of coconut milk. Now I'm going to add some peanuts hey families and friends that's it very quick and easy um, dessert I would say to make or well, one of the Samoans favorite um, candy or coconut lolly, lollipopo. That's all there is to nothing else. You just cook, um, caramelize the sugar, add coconut, let it cool down, and then roll it into um, balls and let it um, cool down. It will go hard, not too hard, um, which is why it's good to use the fresh coconut, a little bit of milk in it that's our cooking tonight um, i hope you enjoy cooking with me um, this favorite salmon candy lollipopo um, here it is i'm going to taste my, the one with peanuts i love adding peanuts to any of my desserts or dishes okay Mm. Um, still warm when it cools down and it goes crunchier so it's not the type of dessert that you would have it or candy that you would have every day and if you have diabetes Please drink your medication before you take <laughs> But that's why I add the lemon to so balance out the sweetness of the sugar, the lemon and the coconut. I hope I make sense. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for cooking with Mills. Take care everyone and I will catch up with you in the next episode. See you later. Bye.